We're gonna start this October with a bang. This time around, guys, we have an awesome classic that is absolutely beautiful in this amazingly preserved, even a box from late 90s. Look how pretty it is, completely preserved, not even, not even yellowed at all. This is the Rush 2 in the black, white, silver and Reebok ice colorway in my perfect eight and a half size. As the sticker says, Speed Turf, this is the second Rush, the one created for Emmett Smith. This one was designed by Mr. E. Scott Morris, one of the legends of Reebok in the late 90s. I have to talk to you about this for a while. So get comfortable and let's get into it. Right away, beautifully packed in the original paper. Uh, I'm gonna pull them out and show it to you guys how much these are preserved. Absolutely love these style of boxes. Uh, they, Reebok started releasing these back in 97, uh, replacing their original uh, blue, light blue, with the uh, uh, red and white vector logo, which I absolutely love. But let's talk about these beauties, the Rush 2. Man, I've been chasing this pair for such a long time, and I'm absolutely stoked that I was able to find it in this DS Preserve uh, state, completely wearable, in an absolutely amazing shape. I mean, one of the best things about this shoe is the Reebok eyes and look how nice and crispy that Reebok eyes is. Still blue, you can see through it, that giant hexalite, four foot hexalite uh, that placed right there. And we have the giant suspended rear hexalite right there, which Reebok was doing a lot at the time. You see how it is suspended. So there's a little gap underneath the actual hexalite unit and the midsole outsole shank. So you're kind of floating on it, providing extra, extra cushioning. Uh, I'm just amazed the amount of Hexalite Reebok actually put on this shoe. It is humongous. And the same applies for the forefoot, although not uh, seen outside, but you can see it through the outsole and it's huge. This is one of the things when I saw this model back in the day coming out, I was like, man, what other models they put Hexalite in the forefoot that I was not able to see. I was thinking there are a lot of them. They're actually not that many, but still, there were plenty of uh, models created by Reebok with this kind of a hidden hidden gem right there, the Hexalite. Uh, I was uh, happy that they're showcased it in this model. And uh, 20 plus years later, I'm finally having a pair, guys. I can't believe it. These came out in two colorways. The white base one was like, kind of like white and blue. Uh, I really, really like that colorway. I really hope that I'm gonna find it one day, but uh, I saw these ones popping on uh, Maricari from a seller that I bought tons of OG pairs. Um, and I was like, yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to grab this one. I really needed it. Uh, I've been searching it forever and uh, I absolutely love it. I mean, again, the state of preservation of this pair, it's phenomenal. Just look at this Hexalite. Look how clear and nice it is. Look at the individual cells. Nothing like the today's fake Hexalite they put on. Uh, look at that debossed Vector logo in the back. And we have the vector logos on the side, perfectly placed. Material wise, they use that kind of a, it's a, it's a strange synthetic leather they've been using a lot of that time. It's not your typical synthetic that normally we see uh, today when companies wanna get really cheap. Uh, it's a little bit different, uh, very soft. I really don't know what exactly stands behind it, but it was kind of engineered synthetic le leather, which holds pretty well actually. It's not peeling, it's not uh, cracking, it's not sticky or anything like that. So it's, it's really interesting to me. Um, the sticker inside actually says uppers of non-made ma made materials. So that speaks for itself. And these are not even laced. So let me pull the insole and show you. These have the uh, regular uh, sports insole. You can see it with the little Arch support, moderately thick, but these are not polyurethane ones, so don't expect huge comfort from them. At the same time, these will never crumble, unlike the polyurethane ones. And we have Reebok logo right here. Um, even when you place your thumb and press inside, you can feel the hexalite. That's that's pretty amazing to me. Uh, inner liner is nice and plush. Plenty of padding as well on this shoe. Look at the inside right there. And look at the ton with, uh, again, the Vector logo on the ton. Yeah, Emmett Smith was one of the biggest uh, endorsers for Reebok when it comes to, you know, football, uh, when it comes to training. So they, they really put a lot of good models uh, for the guy back in the day. 
A lot of them were designed by E. Scott Morris. Mr. Marvin actually created the original Rush. A few other people worked on his shoes. He was a big part of the preseason uh, lineup. An interesting thing, uh, one, one of the things I noticed right away, this black trim on the top right here, it's exactly the same texture, it's exactly the same material that you guys saw on my uh, Reebok uh, Rainman 3. Uh, the one that was right below the leather right here on the Rain Man 3 that I was wondering what exactly this material is and I still can't figure it out. Um, it looks like rubberized uh, fabric. I'm not 100% sure what was the deal with Reebok experimenting with this material, but it's kind of rough. It's almost like a sandpaper. The ghillie system again right here. It's not regular hose, but well, other than uh, these bungees that are actually going around. And these are mad comfortable. I don't need, need to even tell you, you can imagine with the giant forefoot hexalite and rear suspended hexalite, absolutely amazing comfort. This is how original hexalite felt, I guess. Label in the back with the sizing rope laces is many of the those models of the time. And we kind of have a reflective material poking through uh, the leather right here these holes in the in the front overall i think this is a great great classic model super comfortable great design i think a reebok knocked it out of the park at that time they were showcasing their visible hexalite all around uh, they started including a lot more hexalite in the in the shoes period so you will see it in these trainers you will see it in um some of the uh, sean kemp models like the aftershock you'll see it in the shock models they were really really showing it up and all of a sudden they disappeared uh once the dmx came in they started uh, paying less attention to hexalite unfortunately uh and eventually one thing led to another and i did this bottom that's how it happened but yeah just look at the look at the speed turf outsole texture and the grippiness uh, actually, a lot of people rock these on basketball courts because they were so comfortable and they really, really like them. Um, I've seen kids playing these, no problem. Even, even outdoors, kind of like a sort of a blacktop situation because this outsole was very, very durable. Uh, we have a giant uh, plastic shank right here in the midfoot section that extends all the way here where the hexalite is. Uh, and we have a little patch right underneath here, the actual um, medial side of the hexalite. So that provides a lot of support, a lot of lateral support, a lot of support for your uh, hexalite. So it won't completely co collapse all around. And midsole is still very soft. Even 20 some years uh, later, um, it's, it's super preserved. I mean, it's gotta be some sort of a polylite uh, compound because it's not crumbling it's not deteriorating it's not doing any of that stuff you press as hard as you want with your fingers and it's just working perfectly you guys are gonna see these on feet uh, i absolutely love them man they feel mad comfortable like i mentioned before i wish reebok were still making shoes like that because this is a real killer right there um, i know a lot of people are a fan of this model a lot of people are a fan of emmett smith's line and uh, him as a player I was definitely a huge fan of the line and the shoes um, growing up in Europe. Didn't really care too much about American football, but all the trainers, all the preseason models and all these speed turf models were absolutely amazing to me. Uh, I always loved them. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. We started October with a bang with this, with this absolutely amazing Rush 2 from Reebok. Great, great model so happy to have one in my collection in this preserved perfect state wearable of course more to come this month guys i have a ton of rebox ton of classic ones that you're gonna see stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new and as always guys you have a wonderful day